lots of people love to read books on their tablets these mm -hmm. days. Not me. <laughs> There's something about, you know, real paper and ink, right? Well, good thing is I'm not the only one who feels that way. No. A librarian went on a Twitter tirade yesterday, and people are loving yeah, this. Yeah, that's because it's awesome. A guy who goes by the Twitter name The Angriest Librarian showed just how angry he can get when someone else suggested closing all libraries. What? Uh. Alex Alperin says libraries are for way more than just books. They're also one of the few public spaces where anyone can gather to get some much-needed help and information. So when a New York columnist wrote, quote, librarians, are like French teachers. These jobs exist in order to pay the wages of sad people who can't get proper work. Ouch. Rude. Let's just say the angriest librarian was not happy about it. He unleashed an epic tweet thread with a few words we can't use on TV. People are loving it. Totally team librarian on this on this one. Yeah, not loving what the columnist wrote. Yeah, though. no. Yikes. Mm -hmm. All right, so people uh, love their ramen noodles. You know, they're soupy. It's comforting. It's usually inexpensive, especially yeah. when you buy that kind that the college kids buy. <laughs> it won't even cost you a buck. Good thing you saved all that money buying the cheap stuff because you're going to need it to buy this noise canceling ramen fork. You see that thing? It looks like one of those big electric toothbrushes, doesn't it? I feel like the fork would be pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out that people just don't like the slurping noise when you eat ramen. So ramen maker Neeson created this fork that detects the sound of you slurping, then sends a signal to your smartphone to play a sound or some sort of music that masks the slurping noise. But like you said, you're just covering one up so with the other. You know? yeah. I mean, really, why do we have to make something so basic, so high tech? Embrace the slurping. Yeah, the company's making 5,000 of these noise canceling forks. Ready for the price on these? $130. That's a whole lot of ramen. That could feed like a whole college dorm. Yeah. It's, it, first of all, who uses a fork for ramen? Who uses chopsticks, people? Ah, Come on. There you go. All right, so animal shelters can sometimes, you know, feel a little sad, Aww. especially, you know, that commercial, you know, the one I'm talking about where you see the poor animals and you just want to cry? Are, that uh, one, I'm not going to yeah. sing. <laughs> all those poor pups with no place to call home. Very sad. But one dog in Texas oh won't gosh. let that wipe away his smile. Check him out. He's smiling like like in all the pictures. The dog's name is Cheech, and the dog arrived at the shelter last week, and volunteers posted these pictures with that big toothy grin there on their Facebook page. The response, of course, overwhelming. Everyone wants to adopt Cheech. Looks like Cheech will get a happily ever after. But of course, the shelter reminding people, just because you can't get Cheech doesn't mean you can't get other dogs. They may not be smiling, but they'd still be really happy if you it take them It looks like home. he like, hit some of the good stuff yeah. the night before, you know what I mean? <laughs>